Welcome back guys. Today we're making an apple pie. So this is actually my own recipe. I've created it from a few of the other recipes that I've tried and it kind of has more of like a crisp, apple crisp topping because Ben really loves apple crisp and I really love apple pie. So it's kind of a mixture of the both. We'll just get right into it. The oven is preheated and ready to go already. I'm gonna peel these apples and slice them. So let's get started. Okay, so now that the apples are peeled, we're gonna cut them up. Um, I like to keep them in like thicker slices or chunks just so that my apple pie is a little like uh, crunchier because that's how I like it. I do use Honeycrisp apples. They seem to give me the best crunch. Okay, so now that we have our apples sliced and ready to go, um, I'm gonna put some lemon juice and some vanilla extract in here just to coat them a little bit in that. And I'm just gonna kind of mix them up a little bit just to kind of try to coat all the apples. All right, that's good. And then I'll set these aside for a second. I'm gonna do this in the big bowl because this Pyrex is not quite big enough for the amount of apples we have. So for our filling, I have some flour, which I think it's a quarter cup. All the measurements will be down below. And then uh, we have sugar. And then in this one, we have um, cinnamon, nutmeg, and salt. And we're just gonna mix those together a little bit. Okay, and I'm gonna pour my apples into this because I just need to coat them all with it. And again, we're just going to mix them up. Okay, that's good. So now um, we do need to, I need to get my pie, uh, pie crust in here. You can make your own pie crust, I don't. I just buy it from the store because it's easier and no one will probably know the difference. Um, so I'll put my pie crust here in here and then we're gonna pour our apples in here. I do like to set my pie crust out about, I don't know, a half an hour before I use it just so that it can kind of warm up, warm up to room temperature so it's easier to roll out so it doesn't, uh, doesn't rip. Okay. I will slowly and gently unroll this. Just try to gently stretch it a little bit. I try to stretch it up over the edges a little bit. Um, you don't have to, but I just like to do it that way. Sometimes I like to take a fork and just kind of put little lines around the edges just to make it look a little bit better. Now I'm just gonna pour my um, apples into the pie dish just to keep them there while we do the filling. Or the topping. <laughs> And if you have extra filling mix at the bottom of your bowl, just go ahead and pour it in. It'll soak in at some point. And you kind of want your pie to be kind of heaping because it will cook down and it will, um, once it cools after baking, it will, it will kind of deflate a little bit, so. All right, now we can move on to our um, topping, which, so, Mine's like an oatmeal crisp topping that I like to do. So I have my oats and you can use just like any oatmeal. Heck, you can use like your maple instant uh, maple and brown sugar packets if you really want to. And then I have my flour, my sugar, and then my brown sugar. I have a little bit of salt. And then I have um, a softened stick of butter, butter. You can either lay it out on your counter um, the day before and let it come to room temperature or you can do it in your microwave like I do. Ours has like a soften setting. So get that in there. And then you can use a fork, you can use um, your hands, you can use, wash your hands, um, and you, or you can use like a pastry cutter, but just mix all of this together. Thank you. 
Okay, it should look pretty like pebbly kind of. Um, it, you can add probably an extra half stick if you really want to, but I don't. Um, and then my trick, my kitchen hack, you can call it, um, is I keep rubber gloves, like, uh, like latex gloves in the kitchen so that, cause I don't like to get my hands messy. Um, so if I have to like mix cookie dough with my hands or mix something like this with your hands, I like to use gloves just so it doesn't get like all stuck in my nails and my jewelry and everything. So um, yeah, that's my kitchen hack. All right, putting the topping on the pie is kind of messy, but um, if you have gloves, it's not so bad. So just kind of pack this on the pie. You should have plenty to cover your pie. I like a lot of topping. Ben loves a lot of topping, which is why I made this recipe with plenty of topping to go around. <laughs> just kind of pack it on there. Just try to cover the apples a little bit. The butter should melt and kind of solidify everything. If you're going for a really pretty pie, this pie might not be for you. You might want to use a crust. I mean, I guess you could probably cut out crust shapes and like put it on top. Um, I have not done that yet, but I'm sure you can. Now, uh, we will have to put it in the oven and then, uh, I think it's, was it 15 minutes at 400 and then like another 35 or so at, at, uh, 375, but it's all in the recipe down below. So. All right, so it looks pretty good. Looks like everything cooked well. Um, you can use a pie shield for the crust because it does get pretty crispy, but um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It just depends, I guess. But yeah, that's it. It's pretty simple. Um, we're gonna do a taste test with Ben once it cools a little bit. Uh, it tastes great topping it with whipped cream or vanilla ice cream. We love vanilla ice cream with our apple pie. Crunchy. Ooh. This is a very messy pie. I didn't cut through the pie crust all the way. I think that's probably why. <laughs> it's a huge slice. The official taste tester. We're gonna have Ben do the taste test because it's he my loves... favorite. Yes. Mm. Is it good? Yeah, it's really good. It's nice good. and crunchy. It's really messy. It didn't come out right because this did not cut through the bottom um, pie crust, but it's okay. It still tastes good. It tastes the same. That's for sure. It's crunchy. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot of like a uh, crisp texture. <laughs> good. Well, if you liked today's video, please um, like and subscribe and leave us a comment down below if you tried the recipe, if you're going to try the recipe. Uh, I really appreciate it and we'll see you on the next one. I'll bite you this whole thing right here.